Okay, we're gonna work on our application of ellipses. No, we're not applying for a job somewhere. Just gonna apply it to work. Let's think about it. Where's the most common thing where we think of ellipses or elliptical orbits? So, let's talk about the orbit of the moon. Okay, you know, we always talk about like that we do in a rocket math. So, here we go. The moon, as you can see, travels about the Earth in an elliptical orbit with the Earth being at one of the focus points, okay? The major and minor axis of the orbit have lengths of, and it tells us right there, 760 kilometers, 768,800 kilometers. That would be my major axis, and my minor would be 767,640. Notice they're gonna be pretty close together. Find the greatest and smallest distances, the apogee period from the Earth's center to the moon. Now, it's gonna be basically the closest when it's about probably right here. All right, and the furthest when it's there. My elliptical orbit's probably not quite pictured quite right, so it probably should be a little more vertical than it is horizontal. I mean, more horizontal than vertical. Kind of said that wrong. And we have a special name for these particular things right here. Perigree is the distance from the Earth to its orbit, like here, the short distance. That would, in a sense, be at A minus C. And the ap apogee would be the distance here of A plus C. So first off, there's Earth. There's the moon, okay? And we can do this here. If 2a is the, the, our horizontal axis, dividing by two tells me a is 384,400. So if my vertical axis is that, so divide that by two, it tells me my b is that. Now remember, I can find c by taking a squared and minusing b squared. So those are big numbers. Definitely hope you got a calculator today. So, and if you square those numbers to square root it, we find C is 21,108 kilometers. All right, now like I said, all we need to do to find the apogee is take this A and add the C. Wow, 405,508. And the perigree will be the A value minus the C value, because that's the distance from here to here. That's it. That's all I had to do. All that stuff looks so hard, but yet all I really found was what? A plus C and A minus C which has its own unique name, A plus C is apogee, A minus C is perigee, that's it. Wow, no harder than that. And you just did some rocket science. Are we ready to send a rocket to the moon? Probably not yet, but, but we're at least a step closer.